briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1996, the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit heard the case of Securities and Exchange Commission vs. Life Partners, Inc., which focused on determining if an investment qualifies as a security based on the source of its profits. The court found that both pre-purchase and post-purchase services must be examined to establish whether investors' profits come predominantly from the efforts of others, as stipulated by the Howey Test. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, petitioned for a rehearing, claiming that pre-purchase services should not be considered. However, the court denied their petition, clarifying that the Howey Test does not establish any artificial bright-line rule and that pre-purchase efforts are not irrelevant. The court ultimately ruled that Life Partners Inc.'s investment product did not meet the criteria for classification as a security, as the combined pre-purchase and post-purchase services did not pass the Howey test. The SEC also raised concerns that the court's decision could undermine the applicability of federal securities laws to asset-backed securities, such as mortgages and securitized interests in commercial real estate. The court rejected this claim, noting the lack of evidence supporting any potential negative impact on such securities. The court pointed out that many asset-backed securities might fall under other definitions in the laws and may have sufficient post-purchase efforts to distinguish them from the Life Partners, Inc. case. As such, the court concluded that the SEC's concerns were exaggerated. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.